In this video, I'm going to share a story about how depression taught me how to be happier. So how did depression teach me how to be happier? How's that possible? How can a negative create a positive? Well, to explain this, I'm going to start off with a little story. I live on a part of the earth where it gets really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. And people here suffer from something that's called seasonal affective disorder or SAD. An intentional pun? Perhaps. But people get sad in the winter because it fucking sucks. It's cold, it's snowy, my skin dries out, I get zits on my face, the days are short, there's not a whole lot of sunlight, there's not a whole lot of shit to do outside, unless you're a snowboarder that lives on a mountain. For me, I inevitably spend most of the winter just waiting for the summer to come back. And it really makes me wonder how much different it might be to live in a place where it's always warm, where it's tropical, where the average temperature doesn't really change that much throughout the year. And of course, it's nice to fantasize about that. Especially when I looked out my window this morning to three feet of snow. But realistically, it leaves me asking myself, would it be easier to appreciate the warm weather in a place that's always warm? Or is it easier to appreciate the warm weather in a place that's often cold? But before I continue, please do me a huge favor and click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. We have the ability to be able to adapt to the conditions in our environment. And I don't mean adapt to the climate in our geographical location. I mean adapt to everything in our lives. We adapt to our routines. We adapt to day-to-day -day life. We adapt to things. We become used to them. Even if they are extraordinary things, when we are around them all the time, eventually they just become ordinary. So I wonder if living in a place that's always warm, would it be difficult to be grateful for the nice weather? Because it's always there, it's normal, it's no big deal. It's just the nice weather that happens every day. Because for me, it's the cold weather that allows me to appreciate just how amazing the nice weather is. Sometimes in life, it's the negative things that really give us a clear perspective on the positive. And it's this concept of appreciating the bad for how it allows us to better appreciate the good that this video is all about. This concept has allowed me to be much happier in life. I'm someone who suffers from depression, but as I've gotten older, I'm finding that I suffer less because I've learned to not only appreciate when I'm happy, but to appreciate when I'm sad because it's my darkest days that show me just how bright every other day really is. And without my dark days, would my bright days even be bright? Or would I just start to perceive them as being dark or ordinary? My darkest days create contrast that make my brightest days more prominent. And if it wasn't for depression, I'm not sure if I would even be capable of being as happy as I am today. If it wasn't for my depression, I would have never gone soul searching. I would have never hit any brick walls and felt the need to reevaluate my life or my intentions. I would have never truly discovered who I was on the inside. Because only in my darkest times did I discover the light that has guided me to where I am now. It's the darkest times that have sculpted who I have become. If it wasn't for my darkest times, I would have never gone searching for the light in the first place. I found the light because I was in the dark. The truth is that depression has been a negative source of a lot of positive outcome in my life. And for that, I'm grateful. This is how depression taught me how to be happy. This concept doesn't prevent me from becoming depressed, but it allows me to be a whole lot less affected by it when I do. It doesn't consume me. It doesn't trap me in a bottomless pit of despair because I am able to look past the negativity to see the value in it because I'm able to greet it with an attitude of gratitude rather than slam the door in its face because I believe what you resist persists. Not only accepting depression, but learning how to appreciate it is in my opinion, <laughs> kryptonite 
for your darkest days. So the bottom line is there is value in depression. And my advice to anybody that's feeling low is try to be grateful for it. Appreciate your sadness for how it can improve your happiness. It's obviously difficult to be able to be grateful for anything while you're feeling depressed, but just try it. What you'll find is that over time, you'll start switching your mindset to being grateful for the things that you have instead of depressed about the things that you don't. And the ability to be able to be grateful for what you have is in my opinion, one of the most underrated keys to happiness. Thank you.